Ooh, that's cutthroat, baby. Just uh, literally after one year, after everything that went into his market and people trying to trade for him and the Titans finally acquiring him and then his season being uh, a little shaky, Titans was like, you know what? We're straight. We're good. Thanks for everything you did, but yeah, we're moving off of you. Uh, and the Titans released Julio Jones. That is crazy, man. But then when you think about it, like initially when I saw it, it's like, oh, yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's wild. Wow, they released Julio Jones. But then you think about the season that he had, and it was very underwhelming. And it was like, oh, okay. It's not so crazy. And I guess the Titans were like, hey, we tried it. Uh, we went for it. It was a nice little one-two punch. Well, we were hoping it would be that with A.J. Brown and Julio Jones. But just didn't end up working out. And I respect them for that because what what did they give up, like a, a second or third round? I think, I think it was a second round. But whatever they gave up, I respect them for they, they gave it up. They gave up the draft pick. Obviously paid Julio Jones this year, and they were like, you know what? It's not working, so we're not going to waste any more time. We're not going to waste any more of your time, but more importantly, we're not going to waste any more of our time. As a franchise at the wide receiver position, we just feel like, ah, yeah, nah, we're good. So they let him go. Julio Jones, he'll still have a market. It's definitely not going to be what it once was before. And wherever Julio ends up landing, um, that, that team cannot put all of their eggs into the Julio Jones basket. If he's healthy, hey, awesome, amazing, great job. But that's been the issue recently. That's been the big problem with Julio Jones recently. It has been his health status. Well, the lack of health status. So I, I do think wherever Julio Jones lands next, wherever, whatever team he ends up signing to next, because I mean, he's still going to play, unless he decides to hang it up. But if he still does play, he'll get picked up. But I think the deal will be extremely modest, and it will probably be the most humble deal that he has ever gotten, ever. And not saying I ain't saying that like he cocky or nothing, but he used to getting all these big deals. Like this dude was a number, he's a first round draft pick. This dude broke records from receiving deals, broke records from receiving on the field too. But now it's like, oh, you you're not that guy anymore. We know you can still play, but you're not that guy anymore. And teams are not, I don't think teams are just gonna trust Julio Jones like they may have a couple years back. So this is gonna be fun. This is going to be fun. Uh, and the Titans, they save uh, 11.5 mil on the cap by cutting him. Uh, of course, with a post-June 1st designation. Now, uh, with that being said, um, any dead money, I don't, I'm not sure what the dead money is on his deal, but if there is any dead money that the Titans, uh, they received uh, from cutting him, then since they're going to designate this as a post-June 1st cut, then that dead money will be split on the cap this year. And next year. So any post June first cut, that's usually why they do post June first, so they can split the dead money between the year that we're in right now, which is this is 2022, and then the following year, 2023 as well. So just like Julio Jones is when it comes to being with the Titans, I'm out. <laughs>